In this video, let us look at how to read microbiology. So basically, you have seen uh, our videos already on the textbooks and the syllabus, right? So now in this video, we want to focus on how to read microbiology, how to pass it, okay? So basically, you always get um, uh, question banks, okay? For From your university, you get question banks for the previous exams, the question papers. So look at the priority questions which have been asked more, many times. Focus on those questions, okay? Uh, those priority questions you should read first. Okay, and uh, now let's come back here. So usually you will have theory and practical, right? The theory can be divided into two papers because it's quite vast. And uh, you can have general microbiology and uh, bacteriology together as one paper. It is possible uh, there are uh, different universities conducted different way. Okay, so basically how to read microbiology when it comes to uh, microbiology actually let us say bacteria okay what should you know about bacteria first of all you should know gram positive gram negative that much you should know whether the organism is gram positive or gram negative this much you should know so have a chart prepare a chart for yourself which will tell you whether it is gram positive or gram negative okay and when it comes to certain bacteria read the important bacteria don't read all because it might get might get very confusing everything might get mixed up in your brain Read only some important uh, bacteria. If you have time later, you can focus on the other bacteria. Okay. Like let us say here, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, all very important. Okay. Listeria important, Corvini important, Bacillus important, Clostridium also important. Right. <clears throat> then everything important. But these things, right, I didn't read these. Yersinia, Legionella, Bordertella, these I did not read. Very specifically, I did not read these. Okay. But this is very personal. You should not uh, then not read at all. You should read if, whenever you have time later. Focus should be on the important bacteria. Something about the bacteria is you should have the image with you. So when I say Staphylococcus, oh that image. If that image flashes right, it's because very easy to write the uh, theory part. Okay. So it just keeps flowing. Clostridium means oh wait the drumstick. Somehow when this image flashes, now I'll be able to say it's gram positive. It has spore. It is. Uh, bulging spore it's very easy to say when you have the diagram in your head right and specific things you should know like clostridium is anaerobic you should never forget that that you should never forget anaerobic bacteria clostridium these are specific things you should 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 know okay then how if it is anaerobic how will you do the lab diagnosis what kind of features will be there because it's anaerobic right so it causes gas gangrene so specific things specific specifics about each you should know no need to know all those uh, sub, you know that filler text in middle. Specific words you should know about these things. So let us look at uh, bacteriology. We finished some things we have told you like uh, tuberculosis. You should not at all leave it. Tuberculosis anywhere, pathology, microbiology, anywhere and everywhere you should know tuberculosis. Okay. Now let us come to virology. Virology basically, right? Um, the classification, you should know whether it's a DNA virus or an RNA virus. That much you should know. You should know basic structure if it flashes off in your mind, right? Like HIV virus, the especially the structure of HIV, right? You should not uh, forget. So if you know the structure of HIV, you will be able to uh, tell a lot, right? If you know GP120, GP41, right? All these, if you know, you'll be able to say the lab diagnosis very easily. And mostly, you know, it will be like this. If it is an RNA virus, it will have a specific type of uh, lab diagnosis. If it is a DNA virus, it will have a specific type of lab diagnosis. And if it's a retrovirus like HIV, it will have another type of lab diagnosis. Okay. So some things will have PCR, some things will have reverse uh, transcriptase PCR, real-time RT-PCR. Then let us move on to mycology, fungi. So basically fungi, you should know uh, specific uh, priority topics like um, Dermatophytes, right? Dermatophytes, you should know. You should know Madura foot. Maybe that could be important in your university. You just check that. Like Cryptococcus neoformans, all those are also important. In parasitology, guys, you should know the protozoa. Especially, you should know Entamoeba histolytica, right? You should know what is what. You should know it is an amoeba. What is Entamoeba histolytica? It's an amoeba. So if there is a dysentery, you should know if it is bacillary dysentery, what will be the symptoms? If it is amoebic dysentery, how will it be? And when it comes to this one, where is it? 
helminths, right? When it comes to helminths, it's very difficult to remember. But the infective form, the infective form of these worms, right? It is not difficult. Basically, you should understand, is it coming via food? Is the infection coming via food? If the infection is coming via food, then usually what will infect you will be the uh, the the egg okay understand this if it is coming via food if the infection is coming via food usually the infective form will be the egg if the infection is coming via the skin then the larva will be the infective form because the larva will pierce the skin okay and you should know the life cycle usually most of them will be small intestine blood go to lungs so that kind of pattern from lungs re swallow come to small intestine, some kind of pattern will be there. That flow, if you understand, it will be very easy. Okay. So, in hel helmin, right, in especially these worms, try to understand, right, whether it is the infect infection is coming from skin, it's coming from food, where is its habitat, is it the small intestine or the large intestine, you will be able to Draw that kind of life cycle in your brain itself, if you understand that, okay. Some of them are vector borne, right? So, you should know all the vector borne diseases. Like here, there is a mosquito. So, mosquito is biting the man. So, this entire thing is the mosquito part and this entire thing drawn on this side is the man part, okay. And uh, you will be able to have this image in your mind. Don't uh, focus on all the worms. Focus on the top priority worms according to your question bank. When it comes to practicals, you will have to do uh, staining, you will have to do gram staining, you will have to do Zedin staining, right? All that staining techniques you will have to learn. Then um, case studies will be given to you. You will have to identify the organism. Bacteria, they will give you the cultures. You will have to identify the organism. Spotters, they can keep the culture media. You will have to identify them. So basically microbiology, uh, kind of confusing at times, uh, you might land up writing that bacteria stuff to this bacteria and this bacteria stuff to that bacteria which I have done only to realize later that uh, I was absolutely wrong and uh, so with uh, your internals now slowly you will understand by the final exam how to approach the subject, okay. So not much to worry, read and um, only important things you read and you focus on the specific points about each thing like a TCBS agar wire will you use you'll use it for Vibrio cholerae in the whole year I did not see it being used anywhere else okay so when they say TCBS Vibrio cholerae these terms should get uh, attached together okay isn't that correct what I said TCBS yeah, this is TCBS what is it used for theosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar so it is used for Vibrio species, yes. So it doesn't happen in any other way. It is having a specific pattern. Nobody tries to, uh, you know, make it very difficult for you. Do some group study if possible. And, uh, you know, group revisions do help. Uh, that's anyways personal. However you feel comfortable, proceed and pass microbiology. Bye-bye.